Madam Chancellor, Madam Justice, honorary degree recipients, past and present, honored guests, colleagues, graduates, family, and friends. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm delighted to welcome you to Mount St. Vincent University's Spring Convocation. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments of about 500 graduates. Graduates, you've come a long way and worked hard to be here, and it's with great pride that we at Mount St. Vincent University extend our congratulations to you. Please join me in a round of applause for our graduates. It's always a great pleasure to look out from this stage and see our graduates surrounded by the family and friends who have supported them so faithfully. Graduates, I know you would want to join me in acknowledging those who have helped you realize your accomplishments, so let's give them a big hand. And there's one other group of people I think you'll want to recognize. I think you'll want to express appreciation to those faculty members who have taught and advised you along the way. We're very fortunate at the Mount to have a dedicated group of faculty who have challenged each of you and encouraged you to reach your own intellectual potential. Please join me again in recognizing our faculty. As you today become alumni, you also, I hope, will become ambassadors of Mount St. Vincent University. I always say our alumni are our best ambassadors, and I'm sure that you will be no different. I want to take this opportunity to just review two or three milestones that are represented this year. The first diploma in tourism and hospitality management will be awarded today, as well as the first master's degree of applied human nutrition. We're also celebrating 20 years of public relations graduates, and there will be a special celebration for public relations alumni on September 21st, so be sure to note that date in your diary. At Mount St. Vincent, we strive to be an inclusive community so that each student who attends the Mount feels welcome and supported. At the same time, Mount St. Vincent, because of our heritage and our commitment, is known particularly as an innovative educational leader with respect to the education of women. The needs and perspectives of women are reflected in our curriculum. We have courses in women's studies and women emphasis courses. Our timetable, our support services are geared especially to meet the needs of women, but that does not mean to the exclusion of our male students, far from it. We welcome all students to the Mount we have many faculty here whose research focuses on gender and social justice issues. In fact, this year, another milestone for us is to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Atlantis, a women's studies journal, a major outlet for scholarship in women's studies for both Canadian and international scholars, which we have been honored to publish at the Mount for the majority of those 25 years. We continue here at the Mount to introduce innovative programs, including an arts degree with a cooperative education component, a Bachelor of Cultural Studies, an interdisciplinary arts degree in philosophy and religious studies, 
and a master's degree in education for teaching English as a second language offered in association with a sister university. Maintaining and enhancing the Mount's commitment to excellent teaching, research, and scholarship through programs such as the ones I've mentioned rests with our faculty who individually and collectively advance the university's scholarly mission and build its reputation. This afternoon, we will, later in our program, single out for special recognition one outstanding teacher, one outstanding researcher, and we will, for the first time, award the Instructional Leadership Award to a third faculty member. These three individuals, who, as I say, will be recognized a little later, exemplify a commitment held by many more at the Mount. We recognize that each of us forms part of a community of scholars, that generations of scholars have built the university since its founding as an institution in 1873 by the Sisters of Charity, and that current faculty members continue that building through their own scholarly endeavors. At Convocation, we not only honor these outstanding faculty, but also exceptional people who have contributed to their community throughout their lives and careers. Such a person is Beverly Maskell, who we were to honor at this convocation. Unfortunately, Beverly has been taken ill and was unable to travel to be with us today. It is our hope to honor her in future, and we wish her all the best. I am, however, pleased to tell you that this morning we conferred an honorary degree on the Honorable Madam Justice Louise Arbour, who has graciously agreed to deliver the convocation address later in the program. And we are extremely grateful to her for that, as I know her words will inspire our graduates. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge those who have made this event possible. It takes a lot of work on the part of many to put on a convocation, from public affairs to physical plant. I recognize with appreciation all that work and particularly pay tribute to our registrar, Lynn Terrio, who along with her staff has checked transcripts, followed up grades, to make sure each of the graduates is legitimately here today. You know if you're here that Lynn and her staff have given you their seal of approval along with our Senate, and that's a lot of work and we recognize it. I also want to recognize with appreciation the work of our convocation coordinator, Dean Rosemary Sampson. Dean Sampson has been Dean of Professional Studies for the last 11 years, and this is her 25th convocation as convocation coordinator. <laughs> as Rosemary finishes her term as dean, we want to express our appreciation for the, all the, the effort that went into making every single one of those 25 convocations, or at least the 24 to date, very special, and I'm pretty confident that today will be no exception. Rosemary, I want you to come forward and accept a token of our appreciation for all your efforts. Graduates, I don't need to tell you that this is an important day in your lives. I know that you will look back on it with great joy. You'll probably forget that you felt a little nervous. Would I trip going up those steps? No, you won't. Will I remember to shake the Chancellor's hand? Yes, you will. 
but I know that today is just one of the many successes that you can look forward to because you have laid a great foundation that you will build on in the years ahead. Although you probably feel today that convocation is the culmination of years of study, and of course it is, it's also a beginning. You will see that your degree or diploma will open new doors. It will allow you to grow in your life and career. And please remember that today you graduate with a great deal more than your formal credential. You've attained many personal goals, as well as a close community of friends and colleagues. One of the very real benefits of having attended Mount St. Vincent University, where you've had the benefit of a personalized educational environment, one where you got to know your professors and your fellow students. One of the things we like to do at our convocations is to acknowledge those members of the Mount community who are graduating today, as well as some of the family connections among our graduates. It's always interesting. Judy Dickinson of the Family Studies and Gerontology Department is receiving her BA. Judy first started working on her degree in 1980 and her daughter, Michelle Fleming, graduated with a BA in 1995. So you can see there's a, that's a family affair. Sina Jefferson will be receiving her BA, advanced major. Sina is the niece of Ruth Jefferson in our public affairs office, and also worked with Rick Walkden in physical plant during the summers. And Linda McLeod, formerly of our IT and S department, is receiving her certificate in information technology. I also want to mention three sets of twins who will be graduating this afternoon. They had me totally baffled at the brunch yesterday. First I thought there was one set, then I said, no, there's got to be two, and it turns out there are three. First, Jill Cullen will be receiving her BSc, and her sister Jennifer will be awarded her BA. And just proving that graduation from the Mount is a family affair, Jill and Jennifer's mother, Dawn, received her BA in 1974 and her B.Ed. in 1975. Kyla and Clarissa Jardine will be graduating today, Kyla with her BA <coughs> Honors and Clarissa with her BA Advanced Major. And thirdly, Roseanne and Joanne Kelly are graduating today with their BSc, and they are also following a Mount tradition in their family since they are joined by their aunt, Sister Sylvia Staples, who graduated from the Mount with her BA and B.Ed. in the 1970s. I also want to recognize and congratulate a distinguished retiring faculty member on whom the Senate has conferred the status of Professor Emeritus, Dr. Pierre Paye of the Philosophy Department, who has served this university and the broader academic community with dedication and distinction for 32 years. As well, Dr. Virginia Cronin of the Psychology Department and Dr. Doreen Evenden of the History Department will be retiring at the end of June, and we wish them all the best and thank them most appreciatively for their service to the Mount and to our students. In conclusion, graduates, I urge you to continue to explore possibilities make connections, expand, expand boundaries. As alumni, you remain members of the Mount community, and we look forward to following your careers, learning of your successes, and seeing you at reunions and alumni gatherings. The love of learning that you've developed at the Mount and the skills and abilities you have honed here have set you on a lifetime's journey. You really do have the whole world at your fingertips, and there's no telling just how far you'll go. So have a wonderful trip. Stay in touch with new developments at your alma mater. Keep up to date with us by checking out our website, www.msvu.ca, 
And don't forget to email to tell us how you're doing. Congratulations and all the best. Madam Chancellor, Madam President and Vice Chancellor, honored guests, honorary degree recipient, Madame Justice Abor, faculty, <coughs> friends, family, graduates, good afternoon. After all the hard work, our day has arrived. In the past few years, we experienced moments of triumph, moments of disappointment, and even maybe a few moments of boredom. <laughs> Knowing that we shared these times together, we helped one another work towards our goals. We gave moral support, brainstormed ideas, and crammed for finals. Many of us wrote exams together in this auditorium. There seemed to be a quiet energy in the room. Whether we were breezing through or panicking, we shared a silent strength. Now, in the same auditorium, we celebrate our achievements together. Bravo. As students, we formed a community. When we began our studies, we joined the Mount community. Here, students have the opportunity to interact not only with each other, but also with faculty and administration through friendships, study groups, or perhaps as mentors. We inspired classmates. We influenced our professors with thought-provoking questions and insightful papers. We voiced our opinions to the administration on problems and policies. We represented the Mount as ambassadors, athletes, and volunteers. We have all contributed in some way. This is our responsibility as part of a community. However, our ability to contribute fully often conflicted with other responsibilities beyond the classroom. While we tried to balance the personal with the academic, we struggled with financing our education. Due to increasing tuition fees and living expenses, students are dependent on loans and part-time jobs. Battles with the bureaucracy of the loan process and long hours of work have become all too familiar facets of a student's life. These financial pressures may hinder a student's potential. Students are encouraged to choose fields of study that result in the fastest route to employment. Educational institutes are pressured to provide programs geared towards economic growth. Increasingly, we measure our value in society by wealth, how much we earn and how much we own. Many of us are motivated to pursue careers that have the best earnings. This is not a problem. If we work hard, we should be rewarded, and we should enjoy those rewards. However, the problem lies with valuing financial gains over everything else. Environmental preservation often gives way to economic progress. Funding for the arts must be justified not as an investment in culture, but an investment in monetary value. Canadians living in poverty have fewer and fewer programs, and even worse, those who are dependent on the government are made into social outcasts. Doris Anderson, a past honorary degree recipient of Mount St. Vincent University, wrote that what is not rewarded in society today are all the virtues we used to revere, honesty, compassion, a sense of community, and a belief that those of us who have been more fortunate have an obligation to help those who have not. I do not believe those virtues are lost. They are here in this university. Not long ago, the value of women was limited to the domestic sphere. 
many women joined together to challenge this fallacy. Due to the vision of one community, the Sisters of Charity, Mount St. Vincent University stands as a testimony to the enormous value of women. As Mount students, we have learned from this example. The education of Mount St. Vincent gives us an advantage. It gives us an opportunity to pursue many goals and earn many rewards. The education of Mount St. Vincent has taught us no matter what we do or no matter where we go, never to forget our responsibilities to our community. The education of Mount St. Vincent has taught us never to underestimate the value of our contributions or the value of each other. These are the lessons we have learned together. Thank you. Madam Vice-Chancellor and President, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for the Collegiate Honors of Graduation. I attest that they have successfully completed the required courses of study, and I ask that they be admitted to the Certificate in Business Administration. Lisa D. Brown. Catherine P. Perkins. The Certificate in Information Technology on Linda McLeod. Certificate in Tourism on Tanya M. Park. The Diploma in Business Administration on Karen E. Doubleday with distinction. Kathy A. Fields, Diploma in Business Administration. Madam Chancellor, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for collegial honors of graduation. I attest that they have successfully completed the required courses of study, and I ask they be admitted to the baccalaureate degree. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Arts on Richard L. Tabakshali. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Arts with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Anik Arand. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Danielle M. Clark. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Nicole L. Cox. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Jennifer M. Cullen. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Jennifer. Astridar Davis, and she also receives the certificate in gerontology today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Astrid. Uh, Bernard E. Darible. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Bernard. Judith Dickinson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Susan M. Durrani. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Lorianne Eaton, and she also receives the certificate in gerontology today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Abby A. Ferguson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Abby. K. 
Kimberly A. Hawkins. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Alana E. Hubley. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Alana. Esther M. Kinney. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Esther. Teresa Labeled. She is the recipient of the Sister Rose Celestine Prize in French. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Mary G. Lowe's. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Alexander Joseph Lynch with distinction and highest aggregate, and he's the co-recipient of the Sister Francis Assisi Prize for History. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Barbara Elizabeth McDonald, who also graduates with distinction, and she's the recipient of the Frog Hollow Book Prize in Women's Studies. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Heather McKay. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Laura J. McPhee. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Angela M. Matheson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Angela. Rebecca A. McDonnell. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Jocelyn C. Miller. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Jocelyn. Tara Morris, and she also receives the certificate in gerontology today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Jennifer Denise Monroe. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Jennifer. Allison Ray Meyer. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Allison. Tracy Brown Osmond. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Tracy. Leanne Joy Pickram. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Lee. Jane Evelyn Powell. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Mary Reinders. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Mary. Aaron Russell Felkar. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Karen Sayer. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Annette Silver. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Annette. Natalie Dawn Smith. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Annette. Vanessa Smith Majuri. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Vanessa. Craig Squires, who graduates with distinction and who also receives the Certificate of Proficiency in French today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Craig. Nancy Stevenson, who graduates with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Peter Turnbull. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Amanda Vino. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Amanda. Corey Webb. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Corey. Kate Withrow. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Kate. Cheryl Warnell. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major on Rebecca Susan Adamski. 
uh, with, highest, with distinction and highest graduate and who also receives a certificate of French proficiency in French today, unlike my own uh, lawn proficiency in English, recipient of the French Embassy Prize. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Heather Colleen Ball. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Heather. Robin Valerie Bent. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Robin. Heather Ann Bicknell. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Jamie Rose Dixon, who also receives the Certificate of Proficiency in French and is a recipient of the Danny Weston Memorial Prize in French. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Michael Desmond Dyke. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Michael. Melanie Harvey. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Melanie. Allison Jardine. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Melanie. Clarissa Kelly Jardine. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Clarissa. Sina Christine Jeppesen. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Sandra McLeod. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Amy Nickerson, graduating with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Laura Penny. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. David Pierce, who also receives the Certificate of Proficiency in French, is graduating with distinction and is the recipient of the Modern Languages Department Prize in Linguistics. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Mother's waiting. <laughs> Melissa Sansom. I confer the, the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors on Kyla Jardine. She's graduating with first class honors and highest aggregate, receives the certificate of proficiency in French with distinction, recipient of the Swiss Ambassador's Prize in French, and recipient of the Spanish Embassy Prize. Congratulations. That's wonderful. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Amanda Parker, she's graduating with first class honors and is the co-recipient of the Sister Frances de Sisi Prize for History. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts honors. Congratulations. Here we go again. Denise Zareski, who graduates with first class honors, recipient of the Sister Marie Agnes Award, recipient of the Beryl Roland Book Prize, recipient of the Paul McIsaac Scholarship for 2000 and 2001, and recipient of the Andrea M. and Charles R. Bromfen Award in Canadian Studies. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Science on Dale Chisholm. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Science with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Jennifer Clark. 
I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science. Congratulations, Jennifer. Jill Cullen, who is graduating with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science. Congratulations. Pamela Geddes. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science. Congratulations. Lillian Houseguard Gowdry. Gowdy. There's no R in there. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Congratulations. Joanna Kelly. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science. Congratulations, Joanna. Carrie McGee. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science. Congratulations, Carrie. Alexis Paley, who is graduating with distinction and highest aggregate. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science. Congratulations, Alexis. Tobias Spears. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science. Congratulations to us. Matthew Walsh. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science. Congratulations, Matthew. Terry Ann Way. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science. Congratulations to you. Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Science Advanced Major on Noella Donnelly. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Science Advanced Major with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Catherine Jollimore, who is graduating with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science, Advanced Major. Congratulations. Rosanna Kelly. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science, Advanced Major. Congratulations. Julie Roberts, who is graduating with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science, Advanced Major. Congratulations, Julie. Lisa Searle, who is graduating with distinction and highest aggregate. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science, Advanced Major. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors on Audrey Laurel Barrett, and she is graduating with first class honors. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Tara Harris Sullivan. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors. Shannon Hazel, who is graduating with first class honors and highest aggregate. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors. Melissa Wombold, graduating with first class honors. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors. Melissa? Melissa Warner, graduating with first class honors. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science honors. Congratulations, Melissa. Madam Chancellor, the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts Information Technology on Lisa M. Dixon. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts Information Technology with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Lisa. Marsha Dixon Robichaux. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts Information Technology. Congratulations. Janet O'Neill, who graduates today with distinction and highest aggregate, Janet also receives the Certificate of Business today, and Janet was Cooperative Education Student of the Year for IT. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Information Technology. Nancy L. White. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Information Technology. Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration on Harold Arsenault. 
Harold also receives a certificate in marketing today. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Harold. Wendy Askew. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Laura C. Barnes. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Laura. Shelley Beanlands. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Shelley. Daniel S. Bowers. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Michelle E. Bussey, Cooperative Education Option and Cooperative Education Student of the Year for Business Administration. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Jennifer Alexa Carson with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Lynn Cormier. Lynn also receives a certificate in tourism and hospitality management today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Lynn. Lisa Michelle Cunningham. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Lisa. Andrea Catherine Florence Curry. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. John M. Fancy. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, John. Leanne Laura Freilich. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Leanne. Lisa Galpin. Lisa also receives a certificate in marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Michael Geislinger. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Michael. Kimberly Gorman. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Kimberly. Robert Henry. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Anna Jane Hurtle. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Jennifer M. James. Jennifer also receives a certificate in marketing. To, uh, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Jennifer. Jong Hoon Kim with distinction. Jong, <laughs> Jong also receives a diploma in tourism and hospitality management with distinction today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Jamie L. Legere. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Carrie R. McDonald. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Carrie. Brenda D. McNeil with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Brenda. Sandra Mailman. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Sandra. Angela P. McDonald. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Angela. Deborah McRoby with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Deborah. Beth Mitchell. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Beth. Charmaine M. Mullins. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Anita J. Peters. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Anita. Susan Mary Petrie. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Susan. Laura Robinson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Laura. 
Jonathan Rose. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Jonathan. Tracy Sampson Smith. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Tracy J. Spracklin, Cooperative Education Option with Distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Tracy. Catherine M. Thompson. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations on Jacqueline Allen. <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Cindy Bragg. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Cindy. Diane Breen. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Diane. Suzette C. Cameron, Cooperative Education Option with Distinction and Highest Aggregate. Suzette also receives a Certificate in Business and a Certificate in Marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Suzette. Jean Seashawn. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Jean. Jennifer Krieber. Jennifer receives a certificate in marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Jennifer. Sarah Dunderdale. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, sir. Tara Dunn, Cooperative Education Option and with Distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Tara. Paula Patricia Fairfax. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Paula. Sharon Mary Frazier with Distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Heather Dawn Jordan. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Paula King, Cooperative Education Option. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Nicole Langton, Cooperative Education Option. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Erin Lynch, Cooperative Education Option. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Erin. Dana McCacken. I confer the degree of, ba of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Jacqueline M. May. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Sarah Macbeth. Sarah also receives a certificate in marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Sarah. Penny McCormick, Cooperative Education Option. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Jason W. McKenzie. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Jason. Megan Ann Noah. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Megan. Catherine E. O'Brien. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Catherine. Elizabeth Ann Pelsman, Cooperative Education Option. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Tara Penny, Cooperative Education Option. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Tara. Laura Eileen Penny, who also receives a certificate in marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Laura. 
Austis Peter's daughter. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Nancy K. Robar. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Nancy. Caitlin Rochon. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Kate Caitlin. Stillwell, Cooperative Education Option. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Kate. Carmel Christine Teasdale. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Carmel. Tanya Jane Testa. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Tanya. Lindsay Ann Waters. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Lindsay. Deborah Wells Hopi. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Science in Applied Human Nutrition on Tara Kathleen Antle. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Science and Applied Human Nutrition with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Terry. Megan A. Gaudet with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science and Applied Human Nutrition. Congratulations, Megan. Lorraine Gillis, Integrated Intern Education Program. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science Applied Human Nutrition. Congratulations. Stacy Marie Lynch. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science and Applied Human Nutrition. Congratulations. Erica Parsons. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science and Applied Human Nutrition. Congratulations. Tracy L. Parsons. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science in Applied Human Nutrition. Congratulations, Tracy. Jacqueline D. Patton, Integrated Internship Education Program with Distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science in Applied Human Nutrition. Congratulations. Patricia Polson, Integrated Internship Education Program. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science in Applied Human Nutrition. Congratulations. Isabel Robichaud, Integrated Internship Education Program with Distinction and Highest Aggregate. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science in Applied Human Nutrition. Congratulations. Jennifer Lynn Sampson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science in Applied Human Nutrition. Crystal D. Sampson, Integrated Internship Education Program with Distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science in Applied Human Nutrition. Tara Nicole Sims. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science in Applied Human Nutrition. Congratulations. Leanne Michelle Webb, Integrated Internship Education Program with Distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science in Applied Human Nutrition. I would like to note that many of these young women who just got the Bachelor of Science in Applied Nutrition, some of you think it's over. Tomorrow, they are writing their exams for their professional registration, and some of their colleagues would have liked to have been here, but they have to write it in the province of their employees, so some of them couldn't come to convocation. So good luck tomorrow. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management Cooperative Education route on Shandy Gillespie. 
On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management Cooperative Education route with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Sarah Griffiths. Sarah also receives a certificate in business and a certificate in marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management Cooperative Education route. Stacy L. Fortin. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management Cooperative Education route. Kelly Lawson. Kelly also receives a certificate in business and a certificate in marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management Cooperative Education route. Nicole Leibold. Nicole also receives a certificate in business and a certificate in marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management Cooperative Education route. Sherry Lomond. Sherry, too, receives a certificate in business and a certificate in marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management Cooperative Education Route. Elizabeth M. McGilvery. Elizabeth also receives a certificate in business today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management Cooperative Education Route. Congratulations. Charlene McKenzie. Charlene also receives a certificate in business today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management Cooperative Education route. Congratulations. Jillian Petley Jones. Jillian too receives a certificate in business today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management Cooperative Education route. Madam Chancellor, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for the Collegiate Honors of Graduate Degrees. I attest that they have successfully completed the required courses of study, and I ask that they be admitted to the Master's Degree. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Master of Applied Human Nutrition on Nancy Pasquet. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Master of Applied Human Nutrition with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Nancy. Virginia Point. I confer the degree of Master of Applied Human Nutrition. Congratulations, Virginia. Madam Chancellor, I also ask you that you would confer the appropriate degrees and all those presented to the University Senate who are not here today. I confer degrees in absentia on those persons so designated by the Dean. Now the time for prizes. Senate Medals of Distinction. These engraved pewter awards presented by the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University are given in recognition of superior academic achievement to each student who graduates with distinction and with highest aggregate in undergraduate diploma and degree programs. The master's awards are presented upon recommendation of the department. This year's recipients are Karen Double. Day, Diploma in Business Administration. Karen is typical of many of our students, a part-time student who originally held down a full-time job but now is a full-time mom. She obviously did an excellent job of juggling both. Her professors noted that she was a very active contributor in class and ver worked very well in group se settings. Karen is a great animal lover, and she shows this through her volunteer work with the Metro SPCA shelter. She is chair of its fundraising committee and also serves on its management committee. And we hope to see Karen real soon picking up her degree from the Mount. <laughs> John Hoon Kim, 
Diploma in Tourism and Hospitality Management. John transferred to Mount St. Vincent University from Sean Book Sanup University in Korea, where he had studied tourism. While at MSVU, he completed a BBA and a diploma in tourism. He was an ambitious and highly motivated student who overcame language barriers and completed not only the credentials he received today, but also the Teaching English as a Second Language Certificate program at St. Mary's University. To qualify for the tourism diploma, he completed a practicum in Seoul, Korea, his home uh, town. And we, he is very happy today that his parents are here from Korea to celebrate this day with him. I just have one other thing to add here. While at the hotel there where he was doing his practicum, he successfully overcame challenges presented by having to supervise middle-aged female room attendants who had worked as room attendants for many years. He reported that it was a learning experience in management. No doubt his experience of studying at the Mount with so many will women helped him tremendously. His plans for the future include completing an MBA at a Canadian university. No doubt you will do well. Alexandra Lynch, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Alexander Lynch, or Alec as everyone knows him, came to the Mount in the fall of 98 after graduating from Dartmouth High School. He knew from the beginning what he wanted to do, history with minors in both philosophy and English, and he showed from the beginning that he was capable of that academically. Alec quickly won the respect of his professors and fellow students. He always showed a kind of lead, quiet kind of leadership in class, both in and out, without drawing attention to himself. And on the contrary, blushing easily, which he probably is doing right now, <laughs> he became the intellectual center of many of his courses, raising questions, throwing out ideas, guiding discussion, and otherwise keeping everyone on their toes, even his professors. It often seemed in the course of a discussion that everyone was waiting to hear what Alec had to say. <laughs> Outside of class, he has played an active role in the History Society, serving as its president this past year. And as was mentioned earlier, he was co-recipient with Amanda Parker of this year's Sister Frances de Sisi Prize in History. Alec won't be leaving the Mount just yet. He has been admitted to the Bachelor of Education program, after which he plans to teach high school. We wish him well, and no doubt you will make an excellent teacher. <laughs> Rebecca Adamski, BA Advanced Major. <laughs> Rebecca graduated today with a major in French, and she was also admitted to sit for the exam for the Certificate of Proficiency in French, which she obtained this semester. In recognition of her excellent work, the department has nominated her each year for tangible rewards. In both her second and third year, she received the Floyd Campbell Memorial Scholarship given to a student majoring in French who achieves outstanding results. In her fourth and final year, she received the prestigious French Embassy Prize, a Brook book prize donated by the French Embassy for a student with outstanding performance in French, but last year, the year before, she received the Swiss Ambassador's Prize. Congratulations, Rebecca. <laughs> Kyla Jardine, BA Honors. who also received the Certificate in, for Proficiency in French, joined the Mount in 1997 and started the study of French at the 2000 level. At the end of her second year, she won the French Embassy Prize for Outstanding Performance in French, a prize which usually is given to a senior student. She spent her third year in France with the Dalhousie Year Abroad program and did extremely well there. 
Back at the Mount for her final year, she completed an honors degree in French with a minor in Spanish. She also won both the Swiss Ambassador's Prize in French and the Spanish Embassy Prize for Outstanding Performance in Spanish. This must be in a record in itself. Kyla is the only student in the history of the department to have won prizes from all three embassies, two for French and one for Spanish. Congratulations, Kyla. Alexis Paley, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Alexis, who comes from Lance, came to the Mount as a transfer student from the Nova Scotia Agricultural College. She took a general degree in uh, science, and she excelled in this wide array of courses during her time here. She is off to Newfoundland for some certain reason, where she will pursue a B.Ed. at Memorial as well. Her long-term plans are to teach mathematics and science. Congratulations, Alexis. Lisa Searle, Bachelor of Science, Advanced Major. Lisa Searle, who is from Shubenacadie, came to the Mount as a transfer student from Mount Allison. She won the Sarah Phillips Memorial Prize in Mathematics this year and the L. McDonald Memorial Award in Chemistry last year. She's been a peer tutor in chemistry from two year, for the past two years and held an NSERC Undergraduate Summer Research Award in 1999. Lisa will be attending Dalhousie Medical School in the fall. Congratulations, Lisa. Now, Lisa and Alex went to school together in high school, and they roomed together, so they've been very good for each other, I would say. <laughs> Channel, Shannon Hazel, Bachelor of Science Honors. <laughs> Shannon Hazel, who comes from Brooklyn, Hans County, did her BSc Honors Thesis on Regeneration Biology of Two Shrubs in the Honeysuckle Family the possible impact of habitat fragmentation. She conducted intensive pollinization studies of two shrubs on the Mount campus to determine whether cutting of woodland areas interferes with the reproduction of old growth shrubs. She presented her work at the Atlantic University's undergraduate biology conference at Mount St. Vincent this past March and was involved in the organization of the conference. She is currently writing up her thesis for publication. Her expertise in pollinization biology qualified her for a summer research job at the Federal Department of Agriculture in Canfield Experimental Station to work on limitations in pollinization and fruit set in blueberry barrens. Shannon has been accepted into the graduate studies in biology at Acadia University, where she will be involved in a collaboration, in collaboration with Nova Scotia Power to determine the relative tolerances of rare lakeshore plants and common reservoir plants for environmental factors. This work may help restore diversity on currently dammed reservoirs and suggest how hydroelectric operations may be run in more environmentally sensitive ways. Good luck. <laughs> Janet O'Neill, Bachelor of Applied Arts, information technology. <laughs> Janet came to the Mount from the University of Guelph. She was not only an excellent student, but was very involved in student life, serving as president of the IT Society, volunteering for open campus days, and for the annual dinner of the business, tourism, and IT students. Within the community, she was involved in junior achievement as a volunteer computer operator, was a facilitator for grades seven and eight girls at the IBM Women in Technology Conference. She is also a member of the Society of Creative Anachronism, which is dedicated to research and the recreation of the European Middle Ages and Renaissance. Who says IT? You have not an inference in culture. <laughs> she is working full time as Quality Assurance Manager at Garvin Allen Solutions Limited in Halifax, a company that she worked for for two co-op terms 
and who nominated her successfully for IT Co-op Student of the Year. Upon completing her st studies, the company immediately put her on full-time payroll. Congratulations, Janet. Isabel Robichaud, Bachelor of Science, Applied Human Nutrition. <laughs> Isabel came to the Mount as a transfer student from Dalhousie University. From every aspect, she was a pleasure to work with, say her professors. She has clear academic and professional goals, and she committed her full effort to achieving excellence. Her professors comment on her organizational skills, her attention to detail, and critical thinking she brought to each undertaking. She is very self-directed. Isabel was a student in the integrated internship program where she completed three successful work terms. During each placement, Isabel exceeded the expectation for entry-level competence. With her professionalism, self-motivation, initiative, and intelligence, Isabel has the potential to make an outstanding contribution to the dietetics profession. Isabel is also the proud new mother of Vanessa, just four weeks old. For the next little while, she plans to take a break from the career path and be a full-time mom. Good luck and enjoy. <laughs> Suzette Cameron, Bachelor of Public Relations. Suzette came to the Mount from Truro. She also received a certificate in business today. During a time at the Mount, Suzette was determined and conscientious and a very serious student who demonstrated a keen desire to learn about public relations. Her warm smile and calm demeanor made her a welcome addition to the classroom and to her co-op employers. Suzette completed three very different co-op terms, one with Industry Canada, another with Highland View Regional Hospital Foundation, and the last with Halifax Regional Police. Her co-op employers commended her for her initiative and dedication to the job and to her professionalism. Suzette remains close to the Mount. She works just down the road as the community relations specialist for the Metro Food Bank. Good luck. Virginia Point, Master of Applied Human Nutrition. <laughs> Ginny is graduating today with the Master of Applied Human Nutrition, the first convocation at which this degree has been conferred. Ginny brought a variety of experiences to her graduate studies. She is currently a clinical dietitian at the King's Regional Rehabilitation Center in the Annapolis Valley. And prior to this, she spent a year in India developing and piloting nutrition education materials for use in rural villages as a volunteer for a nonprofit community development organization. Congratulations, Virginia. <laughs> the medal for the Bachelor of Business Administration is awarded to Gloria Rondo in absentia. The Valedictorian Prize. This prize provides all valedictorians with a lasting memento of their achievement and contribution to their graduating class. To be chosen valedictorian, the student must have maintained a strong academic record, must have been actively involved in a number of extracurricular activities, either on campus or in the community, must have been nominated as a fitting spokesperson for the graduating class by their peers and their faculty and then must meet the scrutiny of the Committee on Academic Policy and Planning. We are pleased to present this award to Denise Zareski. <laughs> Denise states that she has a deep love of English and Canadian studies. This 34-year-old student excelled academically and won the Bronfman Award in Canadian Studies during her third year. The award consisted of a week in Ottawa as a guest of Parliament, the Senate, and the Supreme Court of Canada. In February 2000, Denise was chosen to deliver a paper in Old English Literature at the Atlantic Undergraduate English Conference at Antigonish. 
This year, she again participated in a conference on children's literature held in Wolfville. She's a woman of very diverse interests. During her last two years of university, she served as an English major liaison and events coordinator, was involved in community activities, and became a member of the Community Advocates Network. She also attends workshop on poverty awareness and volunteers with two arts groups, the Writers' Federation of Nova Scotia and Word on the Street. As for future plans, Denise sees herself entering into another class pretty soon. She's been accepted at two law schools and intends to pursue her interest in social justice. Congratulations, Denise. Kappa Gamma Pi. Membership in Kappa Gamma Pi, Honor Society of Catholic Universities for Women, is awarded to graduates who, in addition to high scholastic standing and a good record in extracurricular activities, give promise to academic leadership in the future. The undergraduate award goes to Amanda Parker, BA Honors. Amanda attended Hans West Rural High School and began her university studies in commerce at St. Mary's before coming to the Mount to study history and English. She has an outstanding academic record, graduating today with a cumulative GPA of 4.058 out of a possible 4.3. <laughs> Amanda established a reputation for liveliness, curiosity, and intellectual seriousness soon after arriving at the Mount. Entering the Honors Program in History in her third year, she developed a thesis topic that displayed these qualities in full measure. It was a study of three seafaring women of 19th century Nova Scotia based on their diaries and, lo and log books they had kept when they accompanied their sea captain husbands on voyages. The thesis drew in part on Amanda's own family history, on her knowledge of the shipping history of Avondale, where she lives, on her study of English literature, which is her minor, and not least on her own instincts and interest. By the time she finished, she had brought together a consideration of shipping practices, shipboard hierarchies, gender relations, and diary writing in 19th century Nova Scotia and set them in a wider North American context. It was a fine piece of work in the judgment of her examiners. She was the co-recipient with Alec of this year's Sister Frances de Sissy Prize in History. Amanda has been accepted into the graduate program in history at Simon Fraser University where it's just possible that she will pursue her interest in diaries, gender, and the sea. Congratulations, Amanda. When I was putting together these notes, it struck me, and I think my um, geography of Nova Scotia is correct, but Hans County has just won the lion's share of prizes. I came across, if I have them correctly, Paley, Parker, Searle, Hazel, and Jardine. I think they're all from Hans County, and statistically, that has to be off the map. So you people have to go back to your high schools and tell them what a great job they did. The Governor General's Medal. A silver medal donated by Her Excellency, the Governor General of Canada, is given to an undergraduate for the highest aggregate in the final three years of a degree program. This year, Governor General's medal goes to Alexander Lynch, Alex. Now he's really going to blush. Okay. <laughs> now Alex's first year marks were all in the A range with A pluses in history, philosophy, and physics. And he repeated the achievement often enough for the next two years to finish his degree this spring with a cumulative GPA of 4.117 out of a possible 4.3. But his GPA this past year was a 4.263. He had a slump. In his, <laughs> in his second year, when his GPA was 3.96, when he received a B plus, the only mark below an A on his transcript. And I won't tell you who gave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. 
congratulations, Alan. The President's Prizes. These special awards donated by the university president are awarded to the members of the graduating class whose energy, generosity, and commitment have enriched the university during their time as students and who show promise that their commitment will continue as alumni. Nancy White, Bachelor of Applied Arts, Information Technology. Nancy Lee White completed three co-op terms, one with MSVU Public Affairs, which she was very popular, with the Metropolitan Housing Authority, and her third co-op term took her to Ottawa, where she worked for the Policy Research Secretariat of the Government of Canada. While at the Mount, Nancy has been active in leadership and extracurricular activities on campus. She was Vice President Internal of the Student Union, was President of Assisi Residence Council, and of the Athletic and Recreation Society. She was an active member of that society since 1995 and an active member of the IT Society for the past couple of years. As well, her involvement in leadership conferences at the Mount dates back to 1997. Nancy hails from the Miramichi. She transferred to the ID program in 1997 after completing two years in the Bachelor of Applied Arts Child and Youth Study Program. Congratulations, Nancy. <laughs> Another President's Prize goes to Leanne McDonald Webb, Bachelor of Science, Applied Human Nutrition. Leanne has excelled in all aspects of her program, both academically and professionally. As a student in the Integrated Internship Program, she was always open to suggestions and took full advantage of all opportunities for professional growth. Her faculty describe her as thoughtful, flexible, and non-judgmental with a positive approach to all aspects of life. Leanne was an active participant in the Mount community. She has been a longtime Mount Christian Fellowship leader where she planned and facilitated special events, small group discussions, and the 30-hour famine. 